Hey friends, Estuna here. So happy March. Wow, I can't believe time is already going by so fast. Um, life tends to go pretty fast, so today we're going to kind of slow it down. We're going to just relax our bodies, stretch it out, open, lengthen it out, and then just really focusing on the breath to really help us stay calm throughout the next 20 minutes or so. Okay, so I do suggest always grabbing your two blocks. Uh, today we won't need a strap, but it's always nice to have it just in case. And we'll go ahead and get started with one block underneath our tailbone. Okay, so... It's going to be a modified bridge. You're going to grab your block, just place it next to the side, and you're going to lower down on your back. From here, plant your feet about hip width. Relax your head. And then on your inhale, you're going to lift your hips for a bridge pose. Then place your block. Let's start it off with the smallest height and place it right underneath your tailbone. So that bony part towards the sacrum area. Okay, and then you might take a few breaths to settle in here. Might have to readjust it a couple more times. And then just let your hips relax on top of it. Keep your knees bent, feet grounded. And then you could just rest your arms by your side. Let your shoulder heads melt down. Opening up through the chest. Taking an inhale here. Fill your belly, fill your lungs. And an audible exhale. Take a few more rounds of breath here. Feel free to knock your knees together with your feet as wide as the mat or as far as you can go without the knees disconnecting. So just finding that gentle stretch into the front hip. Getting that nice release to the lower back here. Softening through your jaw, your eyelids, and just relaxing all your muscles. Last inhale, fill it all the way up towards the top of your head. And a sigh out. Good. So if your feet are about hip width, you could go ahead and keep it there. Let's all meet there. Point your knees up and just drop your right leg all the way down to the floor. And just let your right leg relax, allowing your toes to fall out nice. Now, if this is too much for your lower back, because sometimes, at least for me, I feel a little bit of tension in that lower back on that right side. I have to slightly engage the core by lengthening the tailbone towards the top of the mat. So if that's your case, go ahead and do that. Otherwise, just fully relax the leg and the body. Now you should feel that gentle twist into your right side body, into the psoas, inner thigh, hip flexor, your thighs. Last breath. Good. Replant your right foot and drop your left leg down towards the floor. This time finding that gentle twist or rather stretch to the left side of the leg and the hip. And you'll kind of notice that one side feels a little different than the other. At least for me, this side, I'm allowed to fully relax the leg without feeling any tension in my lower back. Uh, a few years ago, I did injure my lower back on that right side, so that's probably why. But this side feels amazing as I relax the entire body down. So just pay attention to your body. Remember, I'm only here to guide you. You know your body the best, so if I tell you to do something and it doesn't feel good, feel free to skip it. You never want to hold the pain. Plant your left foot down. Good. From here, bring the soles of your feet to touch with your knees out wide for Supta Baddha Konasana legs like a butterfly. 
And again, if you feel any tension in the lower back, you got to engage the core. The more you engage the core, the more support for your lower back. But it's always nice to get some blood flow into the heart. So anytime your legs or your hips are above your heart, you're reversing the blood circulation. Bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a big hug. And feel that nice release of the lower back. You can kind of sway your knees side to side. Awesome. Replant your tailbone on top of the block and stretch your legs up towards the ceiling. So legs up the wall. Again, allowing the blood to flow down into your heart. Getting some fresh oxygen into your internal organs. And just feeling rejuvenated here. But calm and relaxed. Feel free to flex your feet. Kind of get the stretch into the Achilles and the calves. Maybe even through the hamstrings for some. Or you're more than welcome to just fully relax the toes. Let your body melt down naturally. All right. So from here, you're going to keep your right leg lifted and just drop your left leg all the way down. Now we're going to work a little bit here, just a little bit. Flex your feet. Once you flex your feet, you should notice your legs start to engage, straightening through the legs, getting that stretch into your right hamstring, calf. And then that gentle stretch into the front of your left hip. Go ahead and switch sides. Use your core to switch sides. Keep straightening out through that right leg. It's okay if your right heel lifts up a little bit. Just keep it straight and engaged. Good. Let's go ahead and switch sides. Two more sets here. Good. Nice and slow, leading with the inner thighs. Last one, switch. And switch. Again, bring both legs up towards the ceiling. And then from here, bend your knees, plant your feet, and walk your feet as wide as your mat. Tee out your arms and just start to sway your knees side to side. Good. Walk your feet hip width. Let's take bridge pose and hold it there for this one. Okay, so you're going to walk your heels towards your hands, fingertips towards your heels. As you inhale, you're gonna lift your hips slightly, then tuck your tailbone, then lift your hips all the way up, keeping your tailbone lengthened down towards the backs of your knees so there's no arching in the lower back. Hug your adductors in, engaging through the inner thighs. Drag your heels back against the mat, feel your hamstrings and your glutes turn on. Come high onto your tippy toes, chin away from your chest. Grab your block and release it to the side and lower down one vertebra at a time. Upper back, mid back, and lower back. Good. Drop your left leg down, hug your right knee into your chest, setting up for supine twist. Inhale, squeeze in. And exhale, twist your right knee over your body. Scoot your hips over to the right so your shoulders and hips are in line. And tee out your right arm. Try to stay on top of your back. If, that, if your right shoulder slightly lifts up, that's okay. Just a little bit is fine. Use your inhales to find length through your torso. Exhales to twist a little bit deeper. Feel free to use your left hand on top of right knee as a leverage to guide your knee down. Breathe in. Get deeper on your exhale. Good. Other side. Take about five breaths in your supine twist towards the left, or rather twisting over to the right this time.
Come back to center. Hug your knees into your chest and let's rise up all the way up to seated position. Okay, so let's take cross-legged here. If you need to sit on a block or a bolster or blanket, feel free to do so. Otherwise, stack your, let's do the right shin bone on top of the left. Inhale, reach your arms over your head. And as you exhale, eagle arms, right arm underneath the left. Either palms to touch, back of the hands to touch, or bear hug. As you inhale, you're going to lift your elbows, lift your shoulders, lift your hands, gaze up. And as you exhale, round your back, hollow out your belly. Good. Taking one more set of cat and cow here. Inhale, arch your upper back for that extension. And as you exhale, round your back for that spinal flexion. Come back to center, keep your eagle arms, and twist over to the right. Get that nice spinal twist. Great way to wake up your body here. Come back to center. Release your arms, going to roll out the shoulders. Inhale, reach your arms over your head, and exhale, left arm underneath the right this time, eagle arms. Let's take two more sets of cat and cow. Inhale, reach your elbows and hands away from the face. Gaze up. And as you exhale, round. Inhale. Exhale. Come back to that neutral spine, shoulders over hips, and twist over to the left. You got to use a little bit of your own body strength to help you twist. Use the arms to twist even deeper. And release. All right. So let's come on to our hands and knees. Grab your two blocks. We're going to take child's pose with the two blocks on top of our hands. So you're going to walk your hips back, big toes to touch, knees apart, sink your heels down. And then as you drop your forehead, keep the blocks underneath your hands. Relax the forehead. And then for now, just go ahead and relax the arms. Get deeper into the shoulders. Let your hips open, lower back lengthen. Good. And then from here, as you inhale, you're going to keep your hands on top of the blocks. Then come up to puppy pose. So you're going to bring your knees in underneath your hips. Drop your chest. Maybe drop your forehead or drop your chin. And same thing, hands on top of your blocks. Now, if this is too much for you, remember, listen to your body. You don't have to do this. You could just do regular puppy pose. Hands on the floor. Especially if you're at a desk all day, you probably have a lot of tension around your neck and your shoulders area from, you know, hunching over your computer. This is such a nice stretch to find that release and tension. Good. Come back up and let's sit on your heels. If this is too much for your knees or your quads, just go ahead and have a seat on your sit bone. Inhale, reach your arms over your head. And then as you exhale, plant your right palm. Let's take a nice lateral stretch. Reach your left arm up and over. Keep your left shoulder back. Imagine reaching your chest up towards the ceiling. Find length even to your right side waist. Inhale, center, and exhale over to the left. Breathing. Good. 
Come back to center, come back to tabletop position. And let's step your right knee towards the right wrist for half pigeon. Right foot towards the left wrist. Walk your left leg back. Stay on top of your left thigh. Bend your right knee as much as you need. Flex your right foot. Center yourself so your hips are squared. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. Option one, you're more than welcome to stay here. Maybe blocks underneath your hands or block underneath that right glute. Otherwise, hinge from your hips and fold over your right shin. You can stay on top of your forearms or come onto your hands, forehead on top of hands. Notice how your hips feel. Notice how your breathing feels. Is it slow? Is it deep? Is it shallow? Is it getting stuck somewhere? Just checking in. Plant your palms. Lift your chest. Then swing your left leg forward and hook your right foot into your left inner thigh. Then slightly twist your torso towards the left. And as you inhale, lift your chest sit up tall. As you exhale, hinge from your hips and fold over your left leg. Don't round your back yet. So inhale, lift your chest again. As you keep your left toes pointing up. And as you exhale, hinge from your hips and fold a little deeper. Let's do that one more time. Don't round your back yet. Inhale, lengthen, reach your sternum forward. And as you exhale, fold, but keep reaching your chest forward. Good. Now, once you've found your depth, you could go ahead and relax the forehead. So there's a little rounding in the upper back. That's okay here. Roll your left inner thigh down. Keep both sit bones grounded. Inhale, slowly rise. Bend your left knee back and twist over to the right. Left hand on top of right thigh, right hand behind your lower back. Drop the shoulders, but lift your chest. Inhale, lift your side waist. Exhale, peel your right shoulder back. Keep drawing the navel in. Good. Switch sides, or rather come back to center, and we'll meet back in tabletop position. Setting up for half pigeon on the other side. Step your left knee forward. Walk your right leg back. You could always gaze back and kind of check your right leg to make sure it's straight, and your hips just stay squared. Take whatever variation you did on the other side. Stay lifted or forward fold. Five breaths. Inhale, slowly rise. Swing your right leg forward. Heading a hamstring stretch. Left foot into your right inner thigh. Keep your right foot flexed up. Feel free to bend your right knee. Inhale, sit up tall. And exhale, hinge from your hips. Remember, don't round your back yet. Take about two more breaths to find your depth. Keeping that length and space in the front side of your body. Then once you can't go any further, then feel free to relax the upper body. Relax the shoulders. Maybe close your eyes. Tune inwards. Inhale, slowly rise. 
Bend your right knee back and twist over to the left. Keep drawing the navel in as you lengthen the tailbone down. Good. Come back to center. All right, friends, let's go ahead and lower down onto our back. And take happy baby pose. Stomp your foot up towards the ceiling and grab for the outside or inside of your feet. If this is too much for you, grab behind your thighs. Drop your shoulders to broaden through your chest. So shoulders away from your ears. Bring the soles of your feet to touch with your knees out wide. Maybe press your feet in a little closer towards your belly. And we'll meet in Shavasana, holding here for a good two minutes or so. Thank you so much, friends, for joining me today to really slow down your body as well as your mind, hopefully. I'll see you guys next time. Please, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Namaste.